Apple has just released macOS Ventura developer preview for beta testers. Hey guys, my name is KSK Ryle. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS Ventura on your Mac very easily. Since it's a developer beta, which means it contains many bugs, so installing macOS Ventura on your working Mac is not recommended. Although, I figured out a way of running macOS Ventura along the side with your current stable macOS. What I meant to say is that when you turn on your Mac, it will prompt you asking to boot into macOS Ventura or the stable current macOS. Using a dual boot method, we're gonna run the macOS stable and macOS Ventura developer beta on the same Mac. This eliminates all of the headaches and allows you to try out the latest macOS by installing it on a separate partition. All right, as you can see, this is my Intel-based MacBook Pro 2017. As of now, it's currently running macOS Big Sur. Since we are installing macOS Ventura alongside with current stable macOS, we need to create a separate volume or partition. For that, make sure you need to reserve a free space of at least 50 GB on your Mac. Then open the Spotlight search by pressing the command plus spacebar and type a disk utility. Here look for the main internal SSD which is named as Apple SSD. Select this and choose partition. At the bottom left click on the plus button then choose add volume. Then name it as whatever you fancy. In my case, I'm going to name it as Ventura and make sure to select the file system as APFS. Now click on Add to create a new volume. This is where we are going to install macOS Ventura. You don't need to specify any space for this volume. It will automatically use the space needed for installation from the main storage pool. Once it's done, head over to this link, then click on download, sign in with your Apple developer account and enroll your Mac to receive the beta software. You may end up downloading the DMG file, go ahead, double tap on the DMG file, then go ahead, install the package file. Once it's done installing the package file, you will see a new software update, which in this case is Mac OS 13 beta. Go ahead, click on the upgrade now. Make sure you have connected to the internet to download the massive update. Now this will take some time, so sit back and relax. Once it's done, you can see a macOS Ventura installer is running. Click on continue and agree with terms and conditions. Now select show all disk. Here look for the volume you created. In my case, it's Ventura. I'm gonna select this volume, then enter the login password and start installing macOS Ventura. Now this will take a lot of time. It's always recommended to connect to the power source during installation. Once it's done, your MacBook will restart a couple of times and may finish installing macOS Ventura.
It took me around 25 minutes to finish the installation. And as you can see, this is the welcome screen you get to see in Mac OS Ventura with all new background wallpaper. I'm going to quickly walk through and finish up setting Mac OS Ventura. And that's pretty much it. This is how you install Mac OS Ventura on any Mac without damaging the current Mac OS. If you want to switch back to the previous Mac OS, restart your Mac. While it's restarting, hold the Option key and you will see the two options, Macintosh and Ventura. Macintosh is the default volume where the stable Mac OS is installed. I'm going to select the Macintosh using the arrow keys and boot into Mac OS Big Sur. This way you can seamlessly switch between the Mac OS stable and developer beta without any issues. Lastly, I want to show you guys if in case you decided to remove or delete the Mac OS Ventura from the dual boot, first open settings or system preferences, then choose software update. On the left, click on details and choose to restore defaults. Now this will look for stable updates only. Once it's done, you open Disk Utility. From the sidebar, choose Ventura. And click on Minus. Now choose to delete Volume Group. Now this will delete Mac OS Ventura and its data completely from your Mac. Now, if you restart your Mac, it will directly boot into stable Mac OS, which in this case is Mac OS Big Sur. And that's pretty much it. If in case you like this video, hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see a versatile tech content. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSK Rail. I will see you at my next one. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stopped, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something